So I'm joined by Eric Brené, head of Vodafone M2M. Eric, nice to see you. One of the things you talked about in 2015 was how the market uh, for M2M uh, is really evolving uh, and maturing. Um, can you tell me exactly how it is evolving and maturing and what that means for Vodafone's business? Over the last years, we've seen a lot of cars being connected and I think we still see that on the show. But technology-wise, the cars are connected now and it just we basically need to connect more and more new cars and the next big thing in the automotive industry is the autonomous car. What we are seeing this year, I think for the first time, is we're seeing a very, very wide range of new applications, also some quirky stuff. We're showing a child shoe um, with built-in communication at our stand, for example, or a connected mouse trap. And I think the Internet of Things is really there that all kinds of things get connected. And that's actually one of the reasons why we, Vodafone Machine to Machine, will rename ourselves to Vodafone Internet of Things, effective April 1st. So in summary, um, I've never seen as wide a range of new stuff, um, but there is not one single dominant application this year, um, like for example the car was in the last couple of years. So one of the other things we're talking about is how Europe fits into the wider global picture. For example, with 5G, um, there's a lot of talk that maybe Europe is a little bit behind the rest of the world. When it comes to M2M and the IoT, where do you see Europe versus the rest of the world? I think, I mean, we are active globally around the world. We also have operating companies in Asia. We do lots of business in the US. So I think we do have a global view and we see all the applications um, which we see in the rest of the world, we also see happening in Europe. It's true that some applications, um, the adoption rate is a little slower in Europe, for example, for high speed within, within a car. But I think we're going to catch up to that um, in the coming years. There's other areas where Europe is actually leading when it comes to certain applications for asset tracking. We see them only in Europe uh, or container tracking starting a lot of out of Europe. So in summary, I would say um, uh, the world is really everywhere focusing on machine to machine and the Internet of Things. And with regards to 5G technology, uh, we're also defining new specifications jointly with the car industry and the electric utilities in Europe, making sure that the new networks can also, um, can also support connected cars, autonomous cars, and also industry applications with production machines, the so-called Industry 4.0 initiative. Now, we've seen a lot of movement in the vendor market. There has been a lot of change recently. Um, Cisco bought Jasper, for example. Ericsson are working with Cisco. Nokia have announced um, a huge investment in the IoT. Where do you view the uh, vendor marketplace today, and where does Vodafone fit into that? I think, first of all, it shows how attractive the Internet of Things market is that other players spend a lot of money to enter um, into the market. And I believe all these investments will um, make the market bigger over the next coming years, and we're very happy about that. Second thing which um, the Cisco acquisition of Jasper shows is um, how valuable a machine-to-machine -machine connectivity management platform like Jasper's platform is in general because we in Vodafone develop the same uh, software system in-house over the last uh, years and we're very happy to have that because we can also offer global connectivity based on our own software system around the world jointly with our customers to all kinds of machine-to-machine -machine, Internet of Things customers worldwide. In summary, for us as Vodafone, we have lots of partners, integration companies like IBM, Accenture, uh, we have lots of uh, very specific partners like Landis in gear in metering or Continental in automotive with whom we work. So yes, the ecosystem is getting more and more complex. You need more and more partnerships, but actually we see this as a very positive thing and as a nice challenge uh, which we're addressing. And finally, what should we look out for in 2016? I think in 2016 what we're going to see is we're going to see a much wider range of machine to machine new products like the stuff we we discussed earlier and actually at our stand here i've never seen as many products the whole section is all about new products parking sen uh, sensors which discover where a car is parked and then they route the car directly to the right place smart lighting system uh, consumer applications like uh, this connected mousetrap and so on um, the second thing which I think we're going to see is 
that uh, there will be a much higher adoption of the machine to machine and Internet of Things products which have already been there in the last years. We see every day in our, in our orders a massive push from the automotive industry and just the percentage of new cars that are being connected is going up massively. Same for elevator companies, for example. Same for industrial companies with um, uh, construction machines and, and all these kinds of things. So my belief is that the strong momentum in machine to machine and Internet of Things will continue this year and at the same time it will move even more into an Internet of Things direction with more and more applications.